How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to the Miskatonic. What the little witch girl did not know is that her loyalties were being tested at every turn. I'm 22. I'm a grown ass woman. Voluptuous almost. Good morning, Miskatonic! It's me, Minnie in the Morning, with the Miskatonic Morning Announcements. What is this morning you speak of? It sounds awful. Oh, she took all the posters and put them up in her room. <laughs> First of all, thanks to our dedicated and highly trained father, the Corporeum is now host to a hefty portion of Cthulhu flesh, and all at a record cost of only 17 fatalities. Man, I'm getting fat. On to internal news! The Miskatonics University's Canadian branch is suffering a yeti infestation, brought about by the recent How Many Yetis Can We Get? series of experiments. I can't tell if that means the experiments were a success or a failure. Is there a human resources department in this building? Only I'm wondering if the best way to start a workday is by blaring news about a fucking yeti apocalypse into my head. Call me crazy. <laughs> Alright. Oh, hey, Lizzie, how's it going? What you doing? Grind bath? Keeps all that New England atmosphere off, so I don't get any extra bits and bobs sticking out, out here and there like the folks here. Secret witch trick. Wanna try some? What's in it? Oh, lavender, rose petals, sandalwood, ambergris, some guy's blood, mushed worms, horse placenta, powdered dog, a small assortment of rocks, bacon grease, squirrel, and peppermint for that tingly, fresh feeling. Horse placenta? Like my dead mother used to say, ain't nothing get through horse placenta. She drank a lot. <laughs> they sent a team to New Orleans to investigate what we found, so we're on errand duty today. I think someone needs your help in the library. Okay, when my grind seeps in a bit, I'll go see what they want. Thanks, Lizzie. So, yeah, one of the jokes that was going on about this game is that she doesn't bathe. She actually is not bathing. She's just literally covering herself in dirt. Oh, Annie, I thought Mrs. Roth did breakfast. She's off getting some dopey executive brush for the higher up, so I'm delivering today. Here's yours. Who is it? I don't know that name, seeing as it's a bacon sandwich. I could ask if you want. Wait, really? It's like human food? No, it's a pig. No, I mean. Never mind. Thanks, Annie. No problem, my lovey. You want seconds? You come find me. Toodles. Huh. Guess A is not made of a 100% pure aggravation, aggravating after all. How about that? Well, apparently I'm neat in the library. Better get over there. Alright, so she's again just hanging there, but okay. Hello, Wobbly. Did you enjoy your little bacon sarning? I did. Thank you, Annie. What was the sauce on it? It was super scrumptious. Ah, that's a secret English sauce recipe. I smuggled some in under my fabulous petticoats. Back home, we simply call it brown. Oh, so gravy. Oh, shub. Don't tell me it's made out of, like, shredded freckles and ripped up throats or something. Am I going to get sharp teeth and purple blood, Annie? Oh, no, no, no. They made brown soft before the great funning. funning. It's made out of vinegar and molasses and all that. Oh, it's actually, brown sauce is different than gravy. That's right. Tastes great and I cooked off still. Oh. What's the great funning? When everything got fun. Used to be really boring before everyone went a little nuts. Should have seen me playing badminton in my ugly arsed white dress being courted by the local boys in plaid waistcoats and quiffed hair. Pims and pickle on cocktail sticks. Picnics on the weekends at the park. Bust the town every comes every hour. Please and thank you. Routine and pleasant. Bloody tedious. I don't know. That sounds kind of nice. Uh, you should see it now. That bus route now. The bus is covered in spikes and the driver trades his roadkill for a night with the pinemaker's brother. The bad and courts are now communal, communal, communal barbecue pits where whole villagers get together and cook burgers out of the local football team from the town over. The local boys wear nothing but smile and the local girls use their white dresses that dress nothing but bite wounds. No bastard Bobby's bopping her in the head for pissing up the wall in a local picture. We ate him first, of course. There's a lot of fun to be had when you're in for it yourself, my loving. Huh. Well, apart from the cannibalism, that doesn't sound too bad. Shame about all the cannibalism. Shame about all the cannibalism. Hey guys, you wanted to see me? Ah, which you wouldn't happen to have any more secrets to divulge. Um, let me think. Oh, I discovered I had magic eyes when I was nine, the day I left school to become a witch. I sneezed in class and looked for my home act teacher. You have magic eyes? What do they do? Well, I don't have much control over them, but basically I do this. 
Yep. We're glad we're seeing this again. That is very unsettling. I don't understand. What does she see when she does that? I actually wonder. It's, it's, it just keeps going. It's not, it's not stopping anytime. There we go. And stuff happens. Usually it's harmless, making people think strange things or their limbs a bit numb. Makes tiny doggos do backflips or babies say their first words. But, you know, occasionally it makes stuff turn inside out. I guess that's extra secret for you, too, Nico. Well, it's my secret gathering that I need your help with, Charlotte. We're looking to expand the library to house my collections, but the engineering department exploded last night. I need you to find some power tools that'll help us in the library build a extension. Are you up to the task? Sure, I guess I can handle that. Excellent. Try the corporeum. If anyone has power tools in this building, it'll be that French girl. I can't remember my father's face. The corporeum! I'll go check it out. <laughs> she just like made that girl forget her dad's face. And like, not my problem! Um, where are we going? Oh, hey guys. Have you seen any engineers? We're trying to renovate the library. You still have engineers? I thought they exploded with that dopey machine they've been trying to build for god knows how long. Nope, there's still a few wandering on campus, wondering whether there's broken hearted parsnips. A lot of them. Gotta have filled the shrapnel quarter by now, as now. I saw a student, no word of a lie, his entire head cut in half. Oh shit, really? Yep. But he was awful, always a little two faced. Uh, master puns right there. Two faced. I've heard the engineers use the Ethereum to store completed prototypes, Charlotte. Chances are they've got what you're looking for. Thanks, guys. I'll go check it out. Oh, there's Arms, arms Girl. Hey, Vicky, where the hell is everyone? The engineering building. Did you hear the explosion? Most people are off carrying the wounded in the infirmary. Oh, yeah, of course. So, what are you doing here? Well, I don't have any arms. Oh, lucky break, huh? Well, it was more of a lucky ripping off and eating. Okay. What's up, wall man? How's the science? Fish is an unrelenting radical. Hey, Jess, I'm told there's some sort of engineering project one of the guys left here. Do you think the library guys could borrow it? Hmm? Oh, yeah. It's over there. Did you find it? It's some big, ugly... What the fuck? What is that? It's like, what is it a spike thing? Like a spike shooter thing? It's got, wait, it's got like a strap, so you, you wear it around your waist and is it jetpack? I'm confused. What is this thing? It's like half car engine, half steak, half steel purse. Is this for fighting ultra vampires or something? The reason you don't teach here is just pile on top of each other. I have a rock solid lady boner right now. I gotta have one in black to show the coven. They'll lose their shit. Take it then. We we're gonna use it to shut the ethereum up, but that ain't happening. I thought witches were all were into herbs and eyeballs and culture and stuff. Why, why are you rock solid over that monstrosity? First and foremost, witches like awesome stuff. Eyeballs are awesome. Cauldrons are awesome. Secret midnight dance offs are awesome. And the lady boner is awesome. You are a colossal lunatic. Thanks, Jess. I'll see you later. Oh, wait, what are you doing here? Hey, Spooky. Nico's waiting for you in the library. Is that the thing? Yep, glorious, ain't it? If you say so, looks like something they built for fighting ultra vampires. I know, right? I knew that was going to be my next line. Right, Nico. Hey, guys, I got a thing. Ah, oh, Spooky Go. The engineer is taken ill. We decided to use the shredded rem remnants of the department to store Nico's archives. Just until the engineers, you know, start existing again. Yep, we won't need to renovate the library until they research the technical course, which requires students with arms and or legs. Does that mean I get to keep the thing? Help yourself. What are you going to do with it? I don't know. Just want to look at it. Well, good luck with that. Okay, job done. I'll go put this in my room, do a quick patrol, and start my private investigating. Uh, so, talk to Crazy Nutty. So where were you last night? I snuck into the room, but you weren't there. Oh, you know, just off on a secret mission, New Orleans, hidden dark keys, dark revelations, tragic tales, that kind of stuff. Top secret, probably didn't hear about it. Wait, why are you in my room? I don't know, just for talking. You're pretty much the only person I talk to other than my brother or the lunch lady. And that's usually about, you know, lunches. It's probably because you're incredibly annoying. Besides, the only thing you talk to me about is trying to chomp my butt. Yeah. It's a good dynamic we got, ain't it? Yeah, it's not bad. <laughs>
Oh, boy. Uh, ah, oh, Charlotte, thanks for the help with my archives. Care to add to them with another secret? Um, let me think. Well, the reason my hair is like this is so I don't accidentally use my eyes on something. If one of my eyes is covered up, it seems to lessen the effect. Weird, huh? Oh, yes, I've heard about your magic eyes. I may have a small experiment for you tomorrow, so don't go poking them up before then. And remind me to build a Charlotte ward for my archives. Sounds like fun. See you guys around. Oh, it's it's uh, Rummy. Why'd you leave the coven of work here, Rummy? Rummin? Well, what's the cult of Shubnagoth's motto? Preach harmony and compassion for the universe offers neither. Exactly. Try to make the world a better place because it's incredibly shitty, and that's what these guys do, man. But rather than being nice and helpful to our neighbors, they're creating vaccines, technology, all that kind of stuff. The Miskatonic's on the frontier of occult science, and working here means you get to be a part of the collective of history makers. Trust me, Charlotte. They'll remember us when these guys cure cancer or polio or tentacl tentaclitis. Well, that makes sense to me. What about you? What about you? Or what about you? Why'd you decide to work here? Same reason I gave him a witch. I really like all this creepy bullshit. Roman seems to think these guys are on the level, and if I go blabbing about what I saw in New Orleans, I could lose my job. Maybe it's just a handful of nutty folks performing weirdo experiments outside the university's eyesight. But then again, it was a whole facility dedicated to it, with a tunnel leading there and warning signs and stuff all over the walls. No way this was a legit operation. I want to find out who's at the top. Is it Bob? I feel like it's going to be Bob. So, what have you been working on? The rediscovery of one of my lesser species of Yith. It appears to be a form of black sentient cloud, though occasionally forming random solid shards or icicles in its core when under severe distress. The Yithians seem to use them as a form of nourishment and humor, torturing them before they inhale the smoke. The odd thing is, in one of the last chapters of the Nicotic, uh, yeah, Nicotic manuscripts, the Yithians write that the clouds communicate in the human language. I've seen Hyperborean writing as describing the writing human soul as floating black spikes, funnily enough. Sounds like the two might be related. It would mean that the first pre-human contact with the Yithians was situated in the lush jungles of the Arctic. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I think we got an expedition to plan. I don't know what the fuck they're talking about. <laughs> Our school swim team has the custom-made swimsuit to match their to suit their needs. Their needs, of course, being the extraneous limbs or mutated portions most of them have. What the fuck is a swimsuit? A suit you wear when you swim. I'm starting to get the impression that witches are the odd ones out. That's a good point. Uh, I guess Charlotte wouldn't swim often since she doesn't get it clean. So how was your internal zombification? Any negative side effects? Nope. Pretty smooth transition. Oh, I did figure out a cool trick as having my intestines falling out. Oh yeah? What's that? Just grab them and rip everything out. Works like a charm. My torso's completely hollow now. That sounds like literally the worst thing that can happen to a human being. But if a dumb idea works, it's not a dumb idea, I guess. I was hoping it would be like banging on his stomach. So hollow. Did you know our library holds records of every encounter with Yog Sethoth, the horrific gods of eternal knowledge in human history? Wow, how many encounters have we had? None! Weird, right? Oh. Maybe that's why there's so many goofy fellers around, no knowledge god to give them some knowledge? Hmm. That explains a lot. Alright, continue on. What we got now? I just survived the engineering explosion. It took out the whole department. I was in the garage against campus. It's one of the greatest things about being a mechanic. You don't spend a lot of time trying to invent a better wrench. Because you're too busy overcharging for spark plugs and peeking at a pinup calendar. Gotcha. We had a pinup calendar at the Coven headquarters. Once. And by pinup calendar, I mean a spell spell of the month calendar. And by headquarters, I mean Susie's house. And by once, I mean every year since I was nine. Oh, it's the weird tentacle one. Avery. Thanks to our efforts in the Caporium, uh, preternatural medicine has advanced 200 years. New England's mutagenic atmosphere has gone from a cataclysmic Armageddon to a mild mutational nuisance. Nuance, nuisance. When I was a kid, I saw a guy whose face was a butt crack. Alive and well, thanks to the Caporium. <laughs> I don't know if that's a way to live, but okay. Does the creative writing teacher seem a little weird to you? Whenever someone answers the question wrong, his eyes start pouring with blood. The blood thing is a little disconcerting, but when the class starts clutching their heads and covering their ears to draw the shrieking, that's what gets me. Huh, that creative writing teaching is either some sort of banshee or just a huge douchebag. Could be both. 
little column A, little column B. Who we got now? Uh, I'm going to take my two weeks holiday to go work on one of the skull crackers. Sailing around with Riley has got to be the easiest job the Miskatonic offers, right? You know, they just call it the night, they call it the Nightmare Corpse City for a reason, right? Is this a nightmare city filled with corpses or a city filled with nightmarish corpses? Uh, they say that about everything. They said that about Milwaukee. I bet it's a nightmare city filled with equally nightmarish corpses. But then again, I've never been to Milwaukee. <laughs> um, no, no shade being thrown towards Milwaukee at all, but... Ying Ren's sickness, China, causes the victim to see a pair of glowing eyes in place of pitch darkness. Sufferers were terrified of falling asleep, knowing that the eyes seemed to get closer whenever they looked away from them. The worst sufferers saw them even when they had their own eyes closed. Natatic Plague, Italy. Scriptures and texts were were being hidden inside Italy's most popular newspaper co crosswords puzzles. Those that completed the crosswords were rewarded with terrifying revelations of the birth of humanity, most being driven insane by their new knowledge. Domestic Earwig, New, new, new Zealand. A simple earwig that crawls in the victim's ears at night, but makes sounds of horrific, mute, muffled screaming and violence. Sufferers thought that their neighbors were literally murdering each other. Many tried trying to save contented wives by murdering innocent husbands. The male population of New Zealand halved over the weekend. Well, that one wins. Yeah, that's a pretty effective one, I think. Alright, this is the student Ethereum. I hear the faculty is heading to Dunwich in a couple days. Needs a local help build a new portal. Whenever I hear the name Dunwich, it puts a grin on my face to know that whoever get tough, however tough my job gets, at least I'm not a portal diver. And it puts a smile on my face whenever I get the portal diver's paycheck. Damn it, Jamie, your job of staying in a hallway ain't so lucrative, huh? That's gonna be a pretty big paycheck if it's worth the face made out of buttholes. <laughs> Alright, um, Magnus. Extra cerebral sentience seems to be a common factor outside of the human race. Even when decapitated, some creatures seem to function with some control over their action. It's a different thing to study, at least if you have any qualms about cutting the heads off a diverse selection of adorable animals. I really hope these guys have qualms about cutting heads off adorable animals. All the qualms. <laughs> Don't go cutting heads off adorable animals. So is there anything else I should know about nature and its communal consciousness or whatever? Yeah. Don't eat carrots. They hate it. Communal consciousness? That's a cool idea. It would be a lot easier to spread harmony if everyone was connected at the brain. And again, it'd be a lot easier to infect people with, these asshole, with the asshole virus. Probably for the best that we all think for ourselves. And this should take us to Bob, I believe, soon. I think, yeah, you got one more room. Did you hear? Did you hear? They cut the liberal arts program yesterday. Liberal arts? That's like the study of a little bit of everything, right? Why'd they cancel it? Well, can you imagine studying a little bit of everything here at the Miskatonic? Oh, yeah. I guess that would be a little suicidal. Oh, bleeding, bleeding eyes person. Having a brain of epithelial ooze does have its drawbacks. Last night, I lost some ooze as it had dripped off in the rain. I forgot everything I learned in college. Wow, how much ooze did you lose? About half a teaspoon, but the only thing I learned in college was how to play beer pong. Huh, these guys have brain goo pouring out of their heads. I wonder if it's the same brain goo as the brain goo we discovered. But these guys have purple brain goo, whereas the stuff I found was orange. Are there multiple flavors? Flavors of brain goo. Love it. What's up, Charlotte? You're looking a little frazzled. Uh, it's nothing. Wandering the halls, listening to what folks are working on, wandering more halls. It's a weird job. Well, if it makes you feel any better, you're making us feel a lot safer. We haven't had an accident in the whole building since you've been here. See you around, Charlotte. Wasn't there just an explosion? That's because most folks are just standing around the hallways talking about board games and diseases and shit. What are they waiting for? Alright, and then the last person in the hallway before we go see Bob... Dr. Thirst Valentine might come off as a little apathetic towards the plight of humanity, but he gets it. And that's what he needs at the frontier of occult science. He gets it? What does he get? He gets the sacrifices need to be made, both from inside the university and outside of it. It's a nice thought to have to think that all humanity needs is a little love and, is a little love and tenderness, cold girl. But love doesn't cure blight pox, does it? Bye now. Well, I think I just made a breakthrough in my investigation. If, there's, if Thurst thinks like that, it ain't hard to imagine that he'd be fine with kidnapping folks. And if many agrees with his methods, maybe other scientists here do too. Okay, that's actually a good thing to catch, but we gotta talk to Bob, which we're gonna do in the next episode. I hope you're all enjoying this series. This is a really cute, weird series that I like a lot. So if you are, let me know in the comments down below. Leave a thumbs up on the video. I really do appreciate it. And make sure you're subscribed to get updates on this new content or go live while live streaming. And as always, have a great day. Remember to burn bright. I'll talk to you later. Bye.